Hey guys, so I know I've been MIA over the past couple of days here, but today I wanted to cover gesture mode for the Spark and what I really think of it. Uh, long story short, it needs some work. Now, before you think this video is going to be totally bashing gesture mode, it's not. Instead, I want to let you know exactly what you're in for before you purchase your Spark and go to use gesture mode. I've uploaded two tutorial videos on gesture mode in the past, so if you want to check those out, I'll leave the links down in the description. Now in those videos, I made these gestures seem really easy to do, and no doubt they are. They're easy to remember and to perform, but the real problem is actually getting them to work. Half of the time, I'm sitting there waving my hands around, <laughs> looking like an idiot. I've seen so many people comment about this very problem on my videos, and I totally agree with what everyone is saying. As far as all the gestures are concerned, some of them work flawlessly, while others need some work. For example, palm launch works basically every single time. Even when I'm wearing sunglasses, the Spark has no problem taking off and sitting at a hover. On the other end of things, palm land doesn't work as well. Sometimes it just flies straight upwards rather than coming towards my hand and I have no way of actually bringing it down. When this happens, I usually just reach up and turn off the battery mid-flight. As far as actual flight is concerned, things work smoothly when you tell the Spark where to move with your hand. It does a good job at recognizing your hand when you raise it and moving accordingly depending on where your palm moves. Where things really begin to stop working is when you want the drone to fly away from you. It's like you need to wave your arm or your hand just perfectly for it to actually work. I always feel a huge sense of relief when I finally start to see it making its way back and up away from me. Once the drone gets up, commands to bring it back to you and follow you using active track work well, which is good to say the least. I don't want to have to go and get a ladder to grab that thing out of the air as it wouldn't make its way back to me. If you're looking to start a video or take a picture, this is where things get a bit tricky. Sometimes it works well the very first time, and sometimes you're sitting there for 5 or 10 minutes with a tired arm trying to take a selfie. All in all, is gesture mode a game changer? Probably not. I won't lie, when I first saw this displayed at the DJI event, I kind of wet myself. I was like, wow, this is super awesome, being able to control the drone with your hands. But after finally being able to get my hands on the drone and try it out, I feel like it's a little bit more of a gimmick. I always find myself wanting to fly my drones with a remote controller, whether it's the Spark or the Phantom 4 Pro, and when I put it up in the air without a remote controller attached, I feel like I'm flying blindly. I don't know the battery life remaining, I don't know the speed, I don't know the height. I mean, a lot of things are unknown to me when I don't have my cell phone or my mobile device or even my remote controller connected. So again, I always like flying with a remote controller, and that could be why I'm not a fan of gesture mode. The final verdict on gesture mode is that it is going to keep improving and keep getting better and a lot of these little things right now that I'm complaining about will be perfected over the next couple of software updates coming from DJI. You just need to give them some time. The first iteration of everything always isn't that good. Uh, I know that I have the Apple Watch, the first generation Apple Watch, and I'm not going to lie, this thing sucks. Uh, but again, they have been perfecting it over time. Apple's coming out with their third generation of Apple Watch, which might have LTE. I've been hearing some rumors, uh, but again, first iteration could always use some work and just mode could definitely use some work but guys that's going to wrap up this video i hope that you enjoyed be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of sparks gesture mode if you have the spark i know that's kind of a mixed bag i see some people saying that it works flawlessly some people saying that they're having so much trouble with it uh, so again i would love to hear what you guys have to think down in the comments but guys that's gonna do it for me today and as always i'll talk to you later peace